we'll see uh, 3D slice command today. Okay, how we can use 3D slice command. Uh, slice command is used to cut object from different methods. Okay, here we have this command which is called 3D slicing. Hmm? So let's see how it will work. Slice command. So I will make a box here like this. Hmm? And this is box. So I want to slice it. I want to cut it. Very easy. If you will take this command, all right, slice command. So it will ask you select object to slice. I will select this object to slice and enter. Then here are different method to slice object. We have planar object. We have surface. We have view. And here are different planes and three point. By default, the three point method is active. Hmm? So you have to define three method from one side three points. Then it will make a referral three point from other side. It will complete a plane and it will cut object. Let's see how. For example, I will make a three point. So shift right click and select midpoint from here. I will select this midpoint and go here and uh, midpoint and make sure you are making right plane. All right. And shift right click and midpoint and click here third midpoint. Now you have selected three point. You have created a plane, and look at here options. Uh, you have uh, done your action. Now you want to keep both side. Like you have divided already. You have sliced object. You want to keep both side. Press enter. If not, just press on the side which you want to keep. You want to keep this side. Just click here, and that side will be given to you. Let's see another method. Uh, widget. All right. So just make like this. Okay, so let's see how <coughs> how I will cut it. So go to slice command again and select this one and enter and select three point. We are doing three point slicing and shift right click and I will take midpoint so that I can do it accurately. And then here also midpoint shift right click midpoint. All right, take midpoint and then last one you need also shift right click and midpoint. So here now it's done. Now it's asking you, do you want to keep both side or if you click on one side, it will be kept, but I need both side press enter. Now you will see that uh, the object has been sliced like this. Hmm? So now you have two objects and easily you can move objects as well. Hmm? So that was a uh, one method uh, slice object via three points method. Hmm? We have another method which I like a lot and which is the easiest one. You can slice object by using this plane references as well. By default in 3D, we have three plane, right? If you will just uh, focus on this, hmm, on this, you will see we have by default three plane. So this is a 3D object, all right? And here you will see if you want to draw something over here, I will give you just a reference to understand the planes. Hmm? I will just change visual style. And here, for example, I want to draw a circle here. Now, if you want to draw a circle here on this face of the solid object, this plane is called uh, this one X, uh, sorry, Z and Y plane, right? If you are drawing this side, so this is this plane is called, uh, look at here on the coordinates, okay, you have drawn this circle Y, Z plane, this side, hmm? the left side of the box. If you want to draw on this side, the right side, okay, uh, of the block. And which plane we will use? ZX plane, right? So circle, if I will make, and here if you are drawing, so I'm drawing circle on uh, ZX plane, this side. Hmm? If I want to draw a circle on the top, so which plane it would be? This plane would be XY plane. XY plane, all right? Just click here. So by using three plane, I have drawn this circle. So now we will slice object by using this three plane. Hmm? Okay. Let's see how we will yeah. slice them. So click on the slice again. So select object and enter. Now here we have uh, plane references. You want to use X, Y reference, Y, Z or Z, X. So I want to cut uh, like this, all right, from top to bottom. Then I will use Y, Z plane. So click on Y, Z plane. And just click on any point so it will cut vertically just click here now object has been cut you want to keep both sides press enter now you will see it's done and you have slide your object vertically by using yz plane 
Okay, now I will use XY plane, I will cut it horizontally. Let's see how it will work. Again, I will use slice command and uh, select object and enter. Then here I will use XY plane reference, go XY plane, then click on any point from here you want to cut. I want to cut from here or from the middle point, then it will ask you to keep both sides and enter. Now it's sliced. So I found this one the easiest method if you understand uh, uh, the concept of the planes, hmm? then wherever you will uh, use, so it will use that reference, plane reference and it will slice that object. Hmm? So this one, the second method you can slice your object. The third method which I like a lot is you can use a surface also to create uh, to slice object. Hmm? For example, how? So, I will create an arc, okay, A R C arc. So, just make an arc like this hmm? and make a box as well, 3D box from here. And this one is 3D box, all right, like this. So, what I want to do, I want to slice this object by using this reference. So, simple use extrude and extrude this arc, and this arc will be extruded in surface. Hmm? So, now you have this solid and you have a surface object. Hmm? Now, I want to slice this solid, I want to cut this solid by the reference of this surface, very easy. So, go to slice command and select this 3D solid object and enter, then this time you will choose reference surface. Click on surface and click on the surface. Again, it will ask you, do you want to keep both sides and press enter, so both sides will be kept and you can delete that reference and now you will see the object has been cut it by using the reference of the surface all right so any surface you can use to cut object and we create uh, for example uh, you can use also the line for example we have spl all right so line you can use also and make sure you are making on the same plane so that you can extrude it right and right click enter then ext extrude right and just extrude this one like this hmm? Now you have extruded this one. So I will slice this object. So just go to slice, select the 3D and enter and go surface reference and click here, uh, click the surface. Okay, again, uh, select solid, uh, it's already cut it. We have kept the both side like this. Now you can see it's cut it. Hmm? It's a very amazing command. You can use this one also. Now let's see how we can make a pipe inside pipe by using slice command, all right? So we want to create a flow between two pipes. Let's see how we will use slice command to complete that flow between two pipes. Uh, I will make a line first of all like this and here. Uh, so I will delete first of all everything. Okay, then let's keep it. Okay, so I have here one line and I will make one more line and in the Z axis. Then just make a circle over here, right, like this. And for example, point 0.2, right. And same one circle made here and make it like same point 0.2 radius. Now you can see. Hmm? So I will move this uh, two objects in between. So from here, so because pipe will. So shift right click and take midpoint, right like this. Hmm? So I will use extrude command uh, and uh, make sure you are extruding in a surface mode. So go to extrude command and choose mode from here surface mode, right? Then just extrude this one. So like this. Hmm? So this pipe we have created. And this one you have to rotate as well. Just make 3D rotate and just rotate this circle. Then again, repeat process. Uh, or else you can also create two pipes and you can, but I found it's the easiest way. So just go again, uh, extrude and choose mode is a surface and just again surface. All right, like this. So you can just do it. Hmm? Now you can see we have created two pipes. But what is our goal? Our goal is to make a uh, here flow between two pipes. Now here you can see it's blocked. Hmm? So we want to create a flow. Uh, let's see uh, how we will use. 
first of all you need to convert it into pipe to give some thickness so so giving thickness to the surface we have one command which is called thicken so select this one uh, here we have thicken command so go to thicken command and select this one uh, surface and enter and provide thickness we have uh, 0.001 all right so i think it's a uh, very uh, big select the surface enter thickness 0.001 yeah it's done hmm? so it's converted into uh, solid again i will do it this one so again go to thicken command and select this surface all right and enter and then provide 0.001 thickness all right now these two pipes now we have solid and it has thickness as well hmm? now what we have to do we have to slice first of all this pipe so i will just hide this pipe just right click and i want to cut it uh, first of all so right click and isolate and hide this object hmm? so this pipe will be hidden now what i will do i will slice this pipe by using the reference of this so again uh, extrude it and make sure mode is surface all right and just extrude again and now like this all right now what i will do i will slice this solid pipe with the reference of this so go to uh, slice select solid object enter and uh, yeah, select selected enter then click ref reference surface and click here all right so it's done all right and now just delete this pipe and also delete this inner fan now you can see it's deleted all right just delete it hmm? now look it's done all right so you can unhide right click and isolate and end isolation object now you can see one thing we have done now its flow has been created all right now we will do we will repeat same with another pipe so this time i will hide this one i don't need uh, this so go and isolate and hide object then you will repeat same so extrude and mode should be surface and just move it only for the slice purpose so then go to slice all right and select this object and enter choose reference surface and click on the surface is done and press enter now you can delete this surface and you can delete this one even you can delete this too because job done now right click and isolate and end isolation now you will see you have created flow of the pipes right so by using slice command we can perform various operations uh, in 3d autocad right so that's how you can use slice command by using different methods